the what if category of the journey to the Super Bowl. And this is Super Bowl seven, Redskins versus Dolphins. Basically, you're down by seven with two minutes left for in the fourth quarter, and you're kicking the ball off to them. So just continue watching, and I'll show you uh, a considerably easier way to accomplish this because it's very time constricting. All right, guys, I left this in to show you that I did restart this probably four or five times. Go and do the onside kick and do the onside kick and aim it between two players. That helps. And you can do your own thing, but I just went uh, full power in on it, and it's just kind of a chance still. So biggest tip, onside kick, restart till you get it. It's going to take you four or five times. may take you eight times. may take you, may work the first time. After that, you have the ball. And that is the biggest tip to this thing because there's no time left. Okay, so I go with my typical boot play here. And if any of you would like me to break down this play with all four reads, how I, how I can read the coverages and streaks, uh, Julio Jones, wide receiver one, and so on, let me know, and I will make a, a video on that one play because I use it so much, and it's so effective uh, versus people in head-to-head -head because of the jumbo set and the CPU. And I'm, I'm running it over and over and over here. That's why I'm going on and asking. So let me know if you want to have a breakdown of this particular play like in depth uh maybe like a 15 10 15 minute video of just that play exactly what i'm looking at what i'm doing it why i run it so much and so on if you're curious where that play is coming from it's the patriots offensive playbook if you're curious what my defensive playbook is you'll see it later me playing defense it is the bills defense so here I am. We have one minute, 57 seconds. I feel fairly, fairly comfortable given the timeouts. Uh, we, we got the ball. We didn't have to stop them in order to score to tie it up or go ahead with two. So, you know, I'm running that same play as usual. I'm looking at Jordan Reed and, you know, he's, he's very, very athletic. As you see, he takes that. I didn't plan on going in that early. I planned on burning clock. I recommend you actually burn the clock down and do not give them a time, a time to come back but I went ahead and took it I felt fairly confident in my defensive play I've gotten better at that so went ahead and took it in for the touchdown and I'm going for two I I don't ever play for tie uh, it's your it's your option to play for OT if you're good on defense you know go for that but I went with the mesh play shotgun in the Patriots offensive playbook mesh play I go to wide, wide receiver one bullet pass to the inside and then here we are kicking it off with a minute and 48 seconds left. I generally just kick it off straight to the middle. One thing I do here, I stop it right where the green starts, given Hecker, the uh, kicker that I'm using. And it puts it just deep enough to where they all, where the CPU always returns it, but still puts them as far back as they can be. Does that make sense? So... They have the ball. I'm on defense. I'm gonna I'm gonna go in here. My three four set in a in a predator formation. Probably pull up a cover six uh, concept here. A cover six will. I'm sure. Yeah, pulling that up. And I use her uh, the right or left middle linebacker. However you want to look at the field. And basically, I'm sticking him and trying to find someone to stay in coverage. Don't do a very good job there. But I managed to grab his shoelaces with a user keep them from getting that first down and this time I decided to put pressure on them because they figured they may run it so I bring the snake there uh, and they decided to pass but I was getting pressure on them there and I chased him down from behind so he still uh, he, he may have lost a yard there we'll see two yards third and three so I'm putting pressure again uh, that snake play again and just trying to keep pressure on him with, so I have to chase him down again, and he managed to get a first down. So, eh, that was a fail play. He slid, but it's all right. It's all right. Don't don't ever give up and restart if they, you know, get a first down. I mean, I've come back and won the majority of the time. So, he's going back, and he just makes a poor throw, sees pressure, is a little spooked. Um, who knows? I'd have to put that in slow motion to uh, really see. Um, <laughs> I'm still playing cover six here and I stay with my, with my middle linebacker, just looking for someone, see a guy there. He was mine. He should have caught that ball. That was my responsibility to get that guy. And he went in on a comeback route. Uh, so I got a little lucky there. 
third and ten, but they run four verticals. I may go to quarters, but I don't. I decide to stay with my uh, three four base defense set and decide to just stick it out here. And he's trying to drop me off side. It's not going to work. I stick with him. Instead, I bounce out there and grab the ball. I'm trying to take it all the way to the house and make a couple moves, and I'm in. I believe that's Kruger. Um, and so that was just an unexpected touchdown. Uh, you know, I was just trying to stop them. It, I mean, had he just thrown that away or I blocked, batted it down, whatever, it would have been the same end result. Just happened to uh, pick that off, and I just happened to make a – uh, you know, you know, once you get the ball, you always try to bring it back for six, right? And this is not a super fast guy, so I just make a, just a, just slight zigzags in this game. Just slight cuts will screw the uh, computer up really bad. And um, and you can bring it back in for, uh, for a, a TD. And I was doing the whole right and left trigger and the A button, the bottom button, um, and you'll and you'll celebrate, but be careful with that because I'm seeing a lot of people get in trouble on the one yard line that way. All right, uh, and here I'm just taking the uh, the extra point because that puts us up nice and because I've already gone for two, so now it's 22-14. So with eight point differential, gonna kick off down the middle, and and, and again with my kicker, the range on his foot is the very beginning of. The green, a little in, it still works. A little further, still works, but not too much. And that puts it still in the end zone, but where they always bring it out. And same old story here, stopping them. Uh, 20 that time. I'm always trying to strip, top right button there. And every now and then you'll, uh, you'll get a strip there, which is obviously quite helpful. And they're coming out. And I'm going to go 31 seconds. Yeah, I drop down there and in the quarter defense. Man up three deep. I'm quite satisfied with this because they have to go down. They don't have any timeouts. And um, it is what it is. I, I come off the edge here with Averill, my end. And I actually snag him on that one. And so they can't stop the clock. So this game is just about history. I'm going to, again, their guys are having to get to the line, so that clock is ticking, 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 ticking. I'm going to come off the edge again, and he's just stopping the clock with the um, um, spike. So, <laughs> yeah, I was just checking the health to see how slow my defense was getting at this point. They're a little fatigued, but it's okay. 14 seconds, no biggie. Third and 12. Again, I'm always trying to come off the end. They're double teaming me now. I jump up and swat it away that time uh i'm always trying to end it early as early as possible especially when they're throwing those long lob balls those long balls uh, long balls up in the air it's good practice for using an interception just click b and y before you get to it managed to get there and i almost would have had that back if i didn't get that little trip with that foot there whatever happened there i'll, I'll, I'll think i would have had another pick six there but that ran the clock out so that's that's the end of the game so to recap uh start this game do the onside kick i would suggest aiming the kick between two players not right at them and then i went full power with it but you can do whatever you like and just restart until you get, get that onside kick uh that's the easiest way and the fastest way to do this. The reward on this one is a Super Bowl pack and 900 coins, obviously. And a Super Bowl 51 pack, which is going to have generally one gold, a bunch of bronze, and a couple of silvers. So just if you're curious about this, I go through here. And, and these are the cards that I get, bronze, bronze. There's the, there's the one gold. You can trade those in. A, a 15 of those will give you one uh, base elite of this of the Super Bowl past or present series and you see I don't get anything else but that so there's the video guys um, hopefully that helps you on this challenge and it, um, once again if you want me to break down that play in a separate uh, that's in a separate separate video that I use so commonly just just let me know otherwise take care and thanks for watching